Alrighty folks, welcome back to White Caliber. I'm your guide Matt. Blah blah blah. Technical difficulties. We're gonna keep going. Map tools. Terrible. Alright, so um first off was going to be doing a thing, so I'll be doing a thing for him. He has a presence of three, leadership one. Hard check, but he gets a boost die. Because this gan made that cockpit sparkling clean. <laughs> Well, I he, improved, would say, he improved the chi. I would say it's slightly less blood spattered. He even replaced the uh, air freshener hanging from the rear view. <laughs> I'm very considerate That's like awful. that. So, uh... Yes? I'm reading the fire discipline thing. Uh, so yes, Galen, because he's going next, um, will add two boost die to his uh, gunnery check. Awesome. Did I do awesome? I you think did. You, you got did. Two successes and two advantages, so that's pretty good. God, I'm the best. Oh, and by the way, he <laughs> yells at you to shoot better. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not even in range yet. I hope Which it's a so dire he warning that. while he points at Trex's corpse and gestures <laughs> where he's going to put the corpse. <laughs> All right. I hope his, uh, his voice breaks as he screeches. All right. Unfortunately, uh, Galen will not get to go before the fighters, but that's kind of the point at the moment. So. Yeah. It wouldn't do much good otherwise. Yeah. Indeed. So, the fighters close in. They can move two squares because they're really fast. Bastards. They make TIE fighter noises. <laughs> it sounds like a dying condor more than a fucking TIE fighter. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, all four are going to try to uh, basically blast the ship apart. I hope they don't do it. <laughs> Me too. I have the same hopes. The uh, one oh, thing, the, way, the one thing this Gan has ever had in common with gears. <laughs> uh, just to mention it, in the space combat, if they are one square away, it means they're engaged. Because, well, filling it the same square would be kind of difficult for some ships that are huge matic. So basically, we're changing it up such that one square away is engaged. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm registered at Space Tiffany's. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so since the Kurt Fang and these uh, Imperial fighters are kind of close together in terms of silhouette, um, they're a little smaller, but more or less the same. So the difficulty for uh, checks either way is just too difficult to die. So the first one does nothing. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> However, he did get some advantages. Let's pretend he didn't. Could also be a she. <laughs> Perhaps. We're progressive here on my caliber. Alright, so Imperial Fighter 1... Oh wait, we forgot to upgrade the difficulty. Didn't we? Oh, I'll do it for the next time. Um, yeah, you did. We're going to have to set, like, states and crap for this stuff. Ah, terrible. I'm walking out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to take a maneuver, actually, because, well, it had to use a maneuver to uh, pull up alongside you guys. But uh, Imperial Fighter 1 is also going to start taking uh, evasive maneuvers due to the uh, advantages he rolled. He gets a free maneuver off that. Imperial Fighter 2, this time with actual upgraded difficulty. Oh man, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to hit. Dang. <laughs> and the Crate Fang will kind of rock a little bit as uh, the blasters kind of... Oh, I'm just terrible though. I also forgot that they're behind. Yeah, he's in our rear arc, so... Okay, there it is in addition, but it doesn't do anything for you, so... It does still hit, but your armor is pretty thick, so it only does one damage. Hmm. 
Fortunately, this is Star Wars, not Star Trek, so there's no sparks flying off everything. <laughs> Imperial Fighter 3 is also in the rear arc. Giggity. Hey, -o. Good thing we've got protection back there. Oh, dear. Another hit, another damage. We're gonna die! They're very slowly taking uh, some uh, points off here. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Be totally fine. And Imperial Fighter 4. Uh, that one advantage will be spent on a boost for this guy. Okay. Bam! Jesus! Oh. Uh, it'll be less no, fun. No, no, no. That's terrible. With my, last with, with my, my last breath, I curse gears. <laughs> wow. So that did the boost cancel out the setback there? He's in the side arc. So Oh, we don't get a we don't have side protection. You do not. It's terrible. It is. Yep. All so, right, so the book says that uh, linked only requires one advantage, but the errata sheet says it requires two advantages, so I'm going to go with the errata sheet. Thank Definitely you. a good idea. <laughs> but it will do two extra damage because of the uh, extra successes. Well, Matt. Sexy talk by the server. Can you roll? Uh, good question. Let's find out. Throw all your dice at me. But it'll be 8 damage, uh, negate 5 from the armor, so 3 more damage. No! The answer is no. Yes, you're right. Terrible. Oh, jeez. Probably Gears' fault. Oh, our whole uh, threshold is pretty high. There's so, much sus there's so much systematic racism going on here. It is Star yeah. I expect Wars. we're gonna get a letter. I guess I expect we're gonna get a letter from the like fi a Society Against Fictional Racism or something. It's the NAARP. <laughs> gonna go into the space men's room and find two different water fountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Filthy Rodians only. Oh. <laughs> Yay! You fixed it. No, not really. You can what, roll what, one what, dice. I can roll one. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. That makes no sense. It's because he's only got 512 kilobytes of stack. Yeah. Oh. That's... pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Hmm... Well, I'm not sure how to fix it, so I guess we'll just have to come back to it after the session or something. Meanwhile, and leave press stuff out of all the fun. Meanwhile, Galen, you get to attack, and you have two boost die to do it. Are you excited? Yes, I am very excited. I don't don't shoot at um, Imperial Fighter One. Right. Yeah, because they're taking an invasive. Yeah. And so I are we. That. So it would be like <laughs> two. Extra is it bone. two? Is it is it two? Isn't two also taking evasive maneuvers? No, just the one. Just the one. Okay. So I'll target Imperial Fighter two then. Okay. So I've got two boost die, correct? Right. Okay, I've got two proficiency die for gunnery, and what's the skill that feeds gunnery? Agility. Agility. So that's three. Which would make my dice two? You would have one green die and two yellow. One green, two yellow, and two boost. Okay. And the difficulty and then, upgra difficulties upgraded one because of an evasive maneuvers. Okay. Right, so you would have uh, one purple, one red. One purple, one red. Okay, here we go. I might as well just be a dick. 
Oh. Upgrade that again, please. The difficulty or the uh, or the threat? The difficulty. So it would be uh, no purple, but two red. Ooh. Oh, okay. No purple, two red. Alrighty. So I put those in wrong once I... You did it! Damn! Feels good Damn. to be a gangster. Sure is. Th those red die did nothing. <laughs> no. You tried so hard. And it, it comes got so in, far. In the end, it, nothing mattered. Indeed. Okay, it didn't so... Even matter. <laughs> uh, your guns are indeed also linked. If you wanted to trigger the link. I, I definitely do, yes. Just okay, so basically... More realistic scale there for us. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so I make, I get to make another attack, right? Nope, it just counts as oh. another hit. So oh, okay. basically, you do the damage twice. Awesome. So 12 damage? Because you've got uh, three successes. Right, so you do how much damage? Five? So it actually be right. 14. Oh, he's getting the extra damage on both of them. I think that's how linked works. But it's, got, it's got two armor, so it's going to be 12 anyway. Yeah, it's going to be 12 anyway. And then, uh, so basically that blows it out of the, uh, well, you're still in the atmosphere at this point, so you blow it out of the mostly blue sky. Like anything Sweet. blue on Tatooine. <laughs> How many? Uh, how much advantage do I have left? Uh, two advantage points. Okay, so um, no, I guess I'll use those as a boost for the next person. Okay, we do like our boosts. We're All always right. boosting. Boosting, boosting. So that takes us back, takes us back to the top of the PC, or rather the initiative, and that means you have a PC slot. Go, pilot, go. Well, it's an all, all new round, so you could have Galen go immediately again. We could. I could do want. that. Would he then get his own boost die? Uh, he can. When you have two advantages like that, it's uh, to any character. So, yeah. I could also go before the pilot and use the co pilot skill, making the pilot's check easier. That is true. That's true, yeah. And roll another horrible failure. That is awful. And if that, and if that <laughs> works out and I can gain the advantage, then we might have an easier time taking out one of them. Alright. Like, can I use one of the boosts and then like pay it forward, the second one? It would only be one boost, because he used uh, two of the advantages for the linked property. Ah, okay. So the four advantages. All right. Uh, well, do you okay, want me to do sorry. that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What do you What do you say, pilot? Do it. Do it. All right. So I'm going to attempt to take hold of the slightly less gooey controls now, and <laughs> uh, make sure that that RPM meter doesn't go too far over three. Sweet. All right, it's a medium check. Um, no upgrading of anything, so yeah. What the egg? That that leg is really bothering you. <laughs> Seriously, you guys are spacist against the Rodian. Damn. <laughs> so my fingers are slipping off the controls. Well, wow, the sun was in my eyes. We're in space. There's too many <laughs> Trex brains on here. Ah, oh, terrible. So, I guess you're going to uh, use the advantages to pay forward by making the uh, uh, the cockpit a little more nice. Maybe hang some uh, cozy somewhere. Or, you, you know. I would also recommend, while you're there, use a, use a maneuver to um, angle the deflector shields. That's a good idea. Because we have one back and one front. We have nothing protecting the sides, and there's nobody in front of us at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to angle the deflector shields at least to move our front arc over to the uh, 
the side the Imperial fighters on, our left side. Left side, okay. Do I need to roll for that? No, it's a nope, maneuver. Nope, it's just a maneuver. All right, that's what's happening. All right, so uh, co-pilot fails to co-pilot, so does the pilot want to go, or... <laughs> now someone needs to make the co uh, snappy comeback. <laughs> I'm gonna, Jared sighs give... with the resolution of his duty. I'm going to no. give Jared some <laughs> encouraging not words. Do it. You can do it. Galen. Not nearly enough swears in that. There aren't. So is the pilot going next or is the gunner? Um. I'm gonna make another attempt. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna gonna take this turn. Okay. Um. Oof. So uh, evasive maneuver is still. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna make another attempt to gain the advantage. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? What's that? Use a light side point. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna. So that's what. Uh, well, first click the destiny token and then click uh, light side macro. So we can keep our totals. Uh, uh, what? There we go. There you go. Alright, so it's a hard check, um, okay. which is three purple die, and then I, I, your agility is three and your uh, piloting space is two, right? Two, yeah. So to be at the moment uh, three yellow actually, and then three purple, and then one boost apparently. Okie dokie. No oh, wait, and we get now we get a setback die, don't we? Yes, for the handling. That's right. Right. You okay, can do let's it. See if we can, let's see if we can <laughs> gain the advantage. No, we can't. We can't. Well, we, we, we gained advantages, just not the advantage. <laughs> not the advantage we wanted. No. The advantage we needed. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sure we can use these advantages for something, though. Um. Free maneuver, uh, reducing enemies' defense, but they don't have defense. Uh, Forcing it to break off uh, actions, which none of them have taken any of that such. You could do stay on target. You just give me another two boosts so I can kill yeah, one Yeah, but that's like exactly the opposite of what I just did. I was doing evasive maneuvers, and if I then do stay on target, they negate each other. That they do. Evasive maneuvers did not work? Oh, no, um, they did. We did. No, evasive maneuvers worked because it's maneuver. I was trying to gain the advantage which would basically ignore the drawbacks of evasive maneuvers, but still let us keep the advantages. Hmm. Okay, we currently have shields angled to rear and left, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use that extra maneuver to uh, pilot the ship, basically. Okay. So we can move one, right? And, that is di and diagonally is the same? Diagonally is uh, one, yeah. Okay, so just there. Okay. Oh, well played. Well played indeed. And then if there's... So that's what? That's two of my advantage? Uh, to make a ship a maneuver, that's actually three advantages. It's three? So there's just the one left in that? Mm -hmm. uh, can I give that to as a boost die to... To whoever goes next, first? yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Which I assume will be Galen. Hopefully. Yep, I'll do it. Shoot somebody. I'm tracking down my problem. Beat it senseless, sir. I'm betting it's a Java update that was uh, something I shouldn't have run. So how many boosts do I have? Just one. Uh, There's only, just you one. only get the one. Okay. <clears throat> and it's one purple, one red, right? Who are you firing at? I'm firing at the uh, four. There's, there's only one guy you can fire at. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, so no, it would just actually just be two purple. Okay. Oh wait, no, no one one purple one red because the evasive maneuver is right. The, the, the. I'm dumb. <laughs> we're getting 
No. No. Threats, huh? I got. <sighs> We're doing really well this this round. Space is hard, man. <laughs> Not even in space yet. <laughs> it seems uh, Trex has replaced all his systems with giant bongs that we keep ripping. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh oh. All right, I'm going to say that uh, you were targeting four, right? Yes. While you're screwing around with that, he basically kind of just outpilots you like a crazy mo, mo and gets in front of you. Dang it. Well, now we can uh, ram him. <laughs> no, but angle deflector shields is another is an other maneuver, so anybody can do it, right? Yes. The one would so, ha wonder how a gunner could uh, angle so the deflector Galen shields. So could just use his maneuver to angle the deflector shields back forward again. I don't know. He's at the gunner chair. Does it say that? No, but it says that uh, the GM should uh, keep in mind the nature of the ship. Oh, Where? Okay. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you can't adjust the deflector shields from the gunner chair? I'm sure. Though so I should mention, um, next time you're shooting, you should try uh, aim actions. Oh. Yeah, that would have been good. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so... Well, nothing to see here, folks. All right. So you have one more PC slot before they go. Shall Gears go and do something? Uh, now, now the thing is the thing is in, right? We're just waiting for it to do its little yep. dance to activate. We'll have um, two more rounds after this one. Y you know what? I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to use a nearby computer land, because I'm a mechanic, I know computers. Do you? Uh, uh, yes, I love computers. Uh, and computers I, love you too. I am going to... Uh, Keeping boost? us in suspense. Boost the shields? <laughs> Okay. Boost the shields. All right, that's actually a hard mechanics check. That's great because I, I love hard mechanics checks. <laughs> that's that's what checks. she said. <laughs> Not checks, checks. So that's that's three purple. That is indeed three purple, sir. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's. Dang. Boom! Ooh, nice. I boost the Very shields good. so good that okay. they are increased by ratings. <laughs> nice work, dude. You increase right. their ratings. First off, um, on a successful check, the vehicle suffers one system strain. It sure does. But you increase the defense of one defense zone by one. Additional uh, successes can increase the defense of additional zones by one as well. I, so, I will, yeah, do that, but uh, do the... So we could have a defensive one in every zone. Indeed you could. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's, oh, man. let's bubble up. Let's bubble this up. Boom. Shield around everywhere. <laughs> Rodian's supremacy. Humans can suck it. <laughs> he has been the most competent person in this session. <laughs> hey, I shot one down. I only have to get a uh, yelled at. <laughs> yeah, it's you okay. Need a we're sergeant keeping you in line. We're all doing stuff. We're all getting advantages. You are at least doing that uh, for a triumph. Oh, yeah, a triumph. What can I do with that crazy thing in space? Upgrade any allied character's next check, including active characters. So, uh, 
We're all helping each other out, like the pin pals. Um, so you could say you upgrade, say, Toban's next piloting check, or Galen's next gunnery check, or whatever. Or we could do something to turn the... T- uh, uh... What's... Well, my shields aren't really that triumphant, so yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> upgrade the pilot's next check for sure. Okay. While he's in there, you know, boosting the shields, he, like, hits the uh, thrusters a bit, and they suddenly just kick in real hard. Yeah. Giving him that boost. All right, so... Gotta know how to pet the ship, man. He's in there like, man, what is with all this crap ripping out things? (laughs) Freaking trained oceans. Who installed these spinners? (laughs) (laughs) They're entirely the wrong size. Well, they had to be extra big so he could grab them with his tiny arms, because he's a T Rex. <laughs> but all the way uh, to space. Alright. Alright, so, um, yeah, um, I think you still have a maneuver if you wanted to do something. Oh, oh maneuver? I. Um. Not a lot you can do, but there you go. Yeah, I don't get a fart. That's that's my maneuver. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know we're all sharing this, a, this air. Yeah. This is a, this is a closed. In, this is an enclosed system. It's not going to go away. Don't worry, you guys. This it's, this Gand is glad he has a built-in rebreather. It, it, it's you know, only a unfortunately, uh, methane doesn't harm me. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Yay! You now did it. A map would load. Oh. Preston just flails around blindly. <laughs> there we go. Oh, right. hooray! So, uh, Preston will go next, except for that the uh, fighters get their turn now. So. That's so not really next. No, not really. <laughs> uh, this guy loses his uh, basic maneuvers because he needs to kind of, you know, keep up with you. So. Uh, then. He will come up as well. They are surrounding your ship, but you have shields on all sides now, thanks to your Rodian. Let's not and... thank him too much. <laughs> oh. it'll, swell his, it'll swell his ego. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not his ego. Um. So, uh, I guess I'll be doing this. Going to upgrade each of their checks by one. Uh, what? This is where we die, fellas. <laughs> yep. Luckily, we're not really in space, so we will just jump out and land on someone. <laughs> on the sand dune. We'll land on the hut that's trying to kill us, and that's the end of the campaign. <laughs> we'll Sounds land good. on the Millennium Falcon ripoff. Oh! Oh! Wow. Wow, I think one of them Huzzah. just crashed to the other guy. Eaten by a sarlacc. Bad day. How many sarlaccs do we have here? I'm gonna roll 1d100 sarlaccs. <laughs> Way too many sarlaccs. Well, apparently that dude, um, oh wait, it's a plus a fail check, Ooh. Wow. Actually, Ciro is correct. So um, that guy just die. <laughs> no, but he, uh, basically gets so into trying to target you guys that he kind of hits, uh, Imperial Fighter 3. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's amazing, because Imperial Fighter 3 is behind him. (laughs) (laughs) Thank goodness these guys are just as incompetent as us. Uh, Hey, that man a gunner, what is your name? I'm an asshole, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Gosh, I have no idea. Trust just stared really hard hard at him until he fucked up. That sounds completely correct. Oh man, that flint eagle air just staring out of the window. 
he was trying. He was trying to do a barrel roll because he heard that was a cool move. Wait until my next move. No, what probably happens is that uh, Tovan's you know doing the evasive maneuver. So basically, uh, this guy like tries to like stay on him, but you know Tovan like flips the uh, turtle over him, and then he just like flies right into another guy. In a sudden turn of t terrible, terrible piloting on his part. Rather on the, the true. So in part. fact, we did the barrel roll. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna do a spin. That's a good move. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's... I'm pretty sure there's rules for collisions, but I'm not finding them easily. Oh wait, there they are. I just happened to find it. Um, I believe it said a major collision. You know, this is slowing it down, so I'm just going to say they uh, were both taken out. Yes! Barrel roll worked! <laughs> uh, the worst part is that guy didn't even get to take a uh, his turn, so... Uh, Imperial Fighter 4 suddenly is uh, all alone, but he's going to basically kind of invert like this. Wow! It's a uh, fighter noise. The flipping isn't working. Oh no! But that's okay. He will uh, come flying back at your front and try to, you know, shoot you a little bit. I believe in bullets. He also didn't have to fly, so you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say he's doing um, stay on target. Which will make him easier to hit. I'll use a yellow halo to represent that. But he also can hit you easier. I don't think he was ever going to have much difficulty with that. Wow. Are you sure? <laughs> Feast or famine here. Only a triumph, though. This is crazy. Nah, they're, they're Imperials. They never hit anything, ever. <laughs> These blaster marks, such precision. Only an Imperial Stormtrooper could have made them. That's like the one time. The one time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he does lay down quite a bit of fire in a... Uh effort to pin you guys down from doing all these stupid barrel ro rolls and flips. So, let's say the next gunnery check... Or no, yeah, the gunnery check um, gets upgraded in difficulty. That's just what we needed. Indeed. Sounds like we need someone to shout at the gunner. <laughs> <laughs> Which, speaking of, first off, it's your turn. Okay, do I have an option to open comms with this TIE fighter and use scathing tirade on him? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> I'm having that dream again. Okay, so you're opening the comm range, and I, I don't know offhand what the uh, range of the Crate Fane's comms are, but I, I think they're medium right range. There. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At worst, I will lean out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not in space yet. Your furious gestures will make him roll down his canopy. <laughs> it's Star Wars space anyways. You can breathe that shit. <laughs> Not in space yet. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So I need a... I think it's a hard uh, coerce check? A hard what? Coerce check? Coerce? Coerce. No, coerce. coerce. I don't oh, have any coerce. coerce. You can't blame that on being Australian. That's just going deaf. <laughs> I'm old. Leave me alone. <laughs> Aww. Coffee? Let him die in peace. Let him die right, in so a hair piece. Coerce it to... What's your willpower? Three. So one green and two yellow versus uh, three purple. Do I have any boost? Nope. You guys suck. Wow. 
You didn't need them anyway. I'm worried about that threat. Uh, yeah. He Why don't you just suffer a strain? <laughs> he <laughs> blows out his vocal cords <laughs> yelling it. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, yelling so loud that there's just like a capillary in your eye bursts and fills with blood. <laughs> he pulled something. <laughs> I hope the blood hits the windshield just to replace <laughs> T Rex's. <laughs> God damn it, I just cleaned that up! Um, I forget the rules for scathing tyrant I have offhand, but I think that the minion inside that uh, Imperial fighter suffers one strain. Yeah, if he's uh, does that equate to damage for that guy or? It does because he's a minion, so uh. So he dies. No, he has a little bit higher th uh, wound threshold than that. <laughs> he has a heart attack and dies. Damn. Why didn't they put the old guy in there? <laughs> it's my last day. <laughs> the old guy was in Fighter 3. This, uh, apparently with the guys from last session who were just days from retirement, the, this entire <laughs> <laughs> squadron of, of Imperial guys are just all geriatrics or something like that. <laughs> They like to retire on Tatooine. It's like the space, Florida of space. <laughs> oh my god, it really is. It's a dry heat. Lizards all over the place. Palm trees. <laughs> Slaves. It's really more like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for each success, um, one enemy within close range suffers one strain. To inflict an additional strain, you would need advantages, but you did not get those. So this guy suffers one strain, which converts into wounds, but you don't kill him. You just made him very pissed off. And I've hurt him emotionally, which is really my goal. <laughs> uh, He'll never recover. Press up turns and gives a smug look at the crew. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Great. So, um, yes, that'll finish that round. Uh, you're now at round three, so you need to survive this round and the next, which, yeah. <clears throat> but you do finally break Atmo, and you're in actual space now. I'm in space! So, top of the round, uh, we have a PC slot. I'll take it. Okay. Are you sure you want to take that with nothing uh, offsetting? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll true. give it to the pilot, since I already boosted pilot specifically. That is correct. So I'm gonna, go I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try and co pilot again. Okay, you co pilot and uh, I'll yeah. pilot. So All I'm right. gonna try <laughs> to get my stubby little Gan fingers on those control sticks <laughs> once and for all. <laughs> I'm gonna spritz them down with some Light spritz them down. <laughs> He's almost passing out from his injured leg, you guys. <laughs> I got yeah, shot, he, he okay? Reps, he wrapped some baking soda between his hands. He's he's ready. It's time to it's time to do this. You want to like a uh, gymnast? Sure. Let's life side point co-piloting. <laughs> it's the saddest day in this Gan's life. <laughs> <laughs> Until he rolls five successes. Uh, uh yeah. So. I am going to do some co-piloting. So, uh, let's see. Alrighty. It's a medium check, so that's uh, two purple. Oh, jeez, I need to remember this for just a sec. Sure. Alright, so, so two what's green, the, what's one the... yellow, two purple. And the light side's going to give me what? It's going to upgrade one of the green into the yellow. Alright, so... One green, two yellow, and two purple. Right. What's the yellow thing around the Imperial Fighter for? He used to stay on target. Oh. The Jesus! No! Damn. <laughs> the letter just breaks <laughs> off in his hand. <laughs> this gand is dead weight, you guys. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I spent the last two sessions being amazing. We need to eject this guy. <laughs> Maybe he's only good at shooting people in the head. I think T Rex's dead body is well, more useful. Well, do you really? If he's only good at shooting people in the head, do you really want to taunt him at that? Haha, <laughs> hmm. uh -huh, you're only good at murder. 
<laughs> Especially in enclosed spaces. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to pass <laughs> off that advantage to the pilot at least. I'm pretty sure at this point he uh, hangs curtains or something. <laughs> it's a nice potted plant going. <laughs> Makes the place a little homier. You know, the energy in here is just so positive. He's going to marry another Gan later. Going to get some <laughs> feng shui going. So first off, since he's staying on target, <clears throat> I will also stay on target. Okay. So that upgrades both the granary checks by two? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so you better make good use of this, Galen, or you know what? Okay. <laughs> it's the airlock. <laughs> um, all right, and I'm once again going to try to get gain the advantage. Okay. Once again, I'm going to spend a destiny point, because why not? All right, so it's a hard one, right? Yes, it is. So three <laughs> purple, one setback, and I'm rolling three yellow? Yeah, I think so. so. And I got one, wait, oh, and what am I getting from? Uh... This can give you a boost. Right, but I also got one from the triumph earlier, didn't I? Uh, yes. Oh, that was actually an upgrade. So uh, when you upgrade and you already have three yellow like that, you yeah. just add a green. Okay. Ah, neat. So I'm rolling like four dice. You are. Five dice with the boost. All right, let's let's uh, let's watch this fail horribly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey. hey. We did it. Finally. No corpse beatings for you. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Technically succeeded. The best guy <laughs> have succeeded. <laughs> um, so that allows the pilot to maneuver in such a way to ignore the drawbacks of invasive maneuvers. Do those. And also pick which to, uh, defensive zone to target. That doesn't matter either. But you have the advantage. <laughs> so really didn't accomplish that damn thing. Except for your pride. It is satisfied now. Yeah, and I guess I'll just pass the uh... a destiny point well spent. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> just pass those advantages, the advantage on to uh, the next person who should be our gunner. Okay. We pass the savings on to you. <laughs> Actually, you know what? In that case, can I just have changed my stay on target to a evasive maneuvers anyway, just in case? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So actually, we did evasive maneuvers, but with no penalties. Cool. Right, just benefits. Yes, <laughs> just in case he doesn't die. <laughs> okay, so I just have one point. boost, right? Oh, you get more than that. Let's see. Oh, okay. What all do I get? Uh, you get the boost from Tovan. Mm -hmm. uh, he's sitting on target, so you will upgrade your um, your ability dice by one. Okay. And. Wasn't there something else? I don't. Maybe no. No, I think I was misremembering. Uh, gears giving the uh, upgrade to Tobon instead of. Okay, so Galen. that's so, so it's two green, two yellow, one boost. What? No, no. no. What? Huh? You replace the green with yellow when you upgrade. Okay, so one green, three yellow. Do you have four How many dice are you rolling? How many dice would you roll normally? Well, I have two gunnery and three agility, so normally I would roll one green and two yellow. Right, so you'd roll three yellow this, this time. Three yellow, okay. Just and no green. greens. Okay. Then oh, one boost and, die. Then one boost, okay. And then uh, two uh, purple die. Okay. This is going to be great. Holy crap! Damn! I was right. Yes, it is. That that was great. You can stay on this Rodian ship. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the good ones. So, uh, you normally do eight. You do eight damage with this. Um, if you, 
That would blow him up. So, I mean, if you want to do the links just for the hell of it, because you rolled a triumph, sure. Sure. I'll but blow him up harder. A also rolled a threat, but it doesn't matter anymore, because he's dead. <laughs> Some of the debris plinks off our hull. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we fly through the explosion, and it's really cool. Yes. We don't look you don't at it, don't even though. look at it. <laughs> I insist we look at it. Watch it! Watch it! You don't All right, get a so... That was a pretty fun first encounter. Yeah. I think. That's cool. Nobody That's died this time. And I got That's to good. shout at two people. <laughs> That's much better than one. Yes. Now, Prestop will have no trouble sleeping tonight now. Especially with T-Rex's corpse to help him out. <laughs> oh. oh. Not like that. Oh. <laughs> and the and fun I thought part is when, we find, is when we all find out that the only uh, accommodations on this ship are a bunch of bunk beds. <laughs> 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 Alright, so. Uh, with being unopposed by any more Imperial fighters, you guys, uh, after just a little bit more time, the Hypermatter reactor igniter um, kicks in, and boom, you get the blurred start effect, and you just race off into the distance. Awesome. Woohoo! Indeed. Uh, because you didn't really enter a specific destination, it just takes you to the edge of the Tatooine system, but you are pretty much out of the range of any sort of uh, uh, follow up Imperial fighters, let's say. No local pursuit. That's, yes, exactly. So we're safe for now. You are safe, except for as soon as you come out of hyperspace, all of a sudden, there's just this loud, blaring klaxon that goes off all over the ship, and on top of it, what sounds like pigs squealing at a very high and oddly melodious pitch. Gears, and shut it... up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. 